I don't think anyone likes being fat. I don't think anyone enjoys it, but not a lot of people do anything to fix it. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you should do to lose fat. The easiest way in layman terms and how to do it. This video doesn't even need to be this long. I'm just doing it because if people see like a really short time, they're going to think it's fake. So I'm going to show you right now how to lose it. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to tell you. Eat less calories than you burn. What does that mean? So let's just say if your body uses up 2,000 calories, uh, you should eat 1,000. Even if you eat 1,900 calories, and if your normal intake is 2,000, you're going to lose weight. But that's kind of hard to figure out. Like, do you measure that in terms of how hungry you are and how long you wait before actually eating? Eat enough so that you're not hungry anymore, not overeat. So if you're, you're hungry, let's say you eat an apple and then you're like, all right, I'm not hungry anymore, but I want to eat more. Don't eat then. Don't eat more. You don't feel like you should eat, but you want to eat. You mentally want to eat, but not physically. Do you understand? And something that I would strongly recommend for someone that's trying to lose weight is definitely get into sports. I would normally say do like any form of acti uh, exercise like cardio, but that's like torturous and you don't, you, I mean, if you do it for one day, you're not going to want to do it continuously if it's not enjoyable, which I'm sure it is not. So what I'd say is get into a sport like basketball or soccer. I say that because they're pretty low entry. All you need is like they're like a basketball or a soccer ball and then like a soccer goal, which you make can make out of, you know, literally anything or, or even a wall and just like, you know, outline the goal with some chalk. Uh, basketball you can find literally anywhere you can buy you can find basketball nets you can find basketball nets and soccer nets literally everywhere so i just say get some friends if you have any which you would be one of the lucky ones uh get your friends together and like say let's just play soccer for like an hour or two uh every every day that's uh, I, I don't know how friends work i don't have any but i'm assuming that's how it would work now, the most important part, which you should keep in mind, is that you shouldn't eat back the calories that you burned off. So, example, if, for example, if you are not hungry when before you start the exercise, and then after the exercise, if you are, like, really hungry, like I said before, you should eat only until you are satiated, not overeat. So, until, in layman's terms, until eat until you are not hungry anymore, and then you will lose weight even if you do that for a week you will lose weight and if you do that for even longer you're gonna lose even more weight i wouldn't say starve yourself every day you are going to lose fat faster that way but you you aren't i don't think you are going to stick to it um and it's like really and it's really not healthy to like starve yourself every single day it's healthier it is healthier to lose weight slower than faster because your body could could like slowly you know, adapt to that instead of just like, I'm not getting food. I'm going to freaking die. Yes, do exactly what I just told you. And if you feel like you're not losing weight and you're actually, you should measure, you should weigh yourself every like week to see if you're actually making progress. I would always weigh myself in the morning after I take my morning poop because then the, the waste of the previous day is out of your body and the waste from the current day is not in your body yet. So you are only weighing yourself as you are without anything else. And if you feel and see that you are not making any progress, let's say for like a month, like you lost like half a pound, that's still progress, but I, I'd say that's pretty slow. What you could do is eat less and to the point, and, it, and even if you're not seeing any progress like whatsoever, you're still, you're still you're still eating way too much. Like the scale doesn't lie. You should be able to figure that out. And uh, through that, I'd say uh, don't in eat until you're satiated. Sometimes just go hung, like be hungry most of the time, but not literally starving. And if you're still not losing weight, I'd say starve yourself because like you're not doing it right. The scale doesn't lie and your body doesn't lie. The human anatomy doesn't lie. Human bodily functions don't lie. I know people don't like facts, like there are only two genders, but the weight loss is the exact same. But, all right, so I think I explained that pretty well and to a point where you can actually take something away from this video and actually incorporate it and actually start losing weight. 
I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't really say anything else. Just eat less. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'd say just eat less. And uh, you don't even have to exercise, like, or do a sport, like I said. It, it will be a lot easier, but if you don't want to do a sport or exercise at all, all you have to do is eat less. Uh, playing a sport or exercising will help you eat less. Even more or less. Easier or less. But as long as you eat less every single day for a consistent amount of time, you will lose weight either way. It's not possible for you to not lose weight then. You're just creating these scenarios like you're not, you're doing everything right, but you're not losing any weight. Like you're eating too much then. You, there, there's no n negotiating that. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that clears it up a little bit and makes it a lot easier. It shouldn't be as hard as it is, but people just like to make things complicated for no reason. But that's about it. Uh, see ya.